he saw that cottage cheese and, and that cellulite. He wasn't like Juicy J. Make that ass clap. I don't care about that cellulite. What's going on, y'all? Grind and motivate back in this thing again, man, with another video. And today, man, I want to I want to see what the hell is going on with Lizzo, man. And uh, I'm gonna try to be as politically correct in this video as possible because every video I've done lately seems to get yellow marks out here in, in these YouTube streets, man. And if uh, if you do YouTube, man, or you, uh, you, have, you start doing YouTube or whatever, and you get monetized, then you're gonna know what I mean when I say yellow marks. Man, you can't say anything hardly, man, because they got like, they literally have like a 15,000 uh, sensitive word bank where you say, yeah, you said boo, gonna get you, get you demonetized or something like So, man, you gotta watch this up, man. You talk about the, the G's, the B's, the LT's, the PHAT's, and you, you get in trouble. So I'm gonna try to be as nice as I can, man, while we go through this Lizzo page, while at the same time, try to be, you know, I guess entertaining and whatnot. I guess you could be entertaining, man. All right, man, so Lizzo's been doing a bunch of little silly stuff on her social media for attention, and at the same time, she's been crying about the backlash she gets from those silly things. And this is one of the worst things I've seen her do recently. And one of the grossest things, unfortunately, man, is her live streaming herself doodling, man. And nobody wants to see that shit, Lizzo. I understand that she run around here preaching, yeah, feel comfortable in your own body and, you know, embrace your imperfections or whatnot and all this kind of stuff. Because, yeah, man, everybody can't look like a gym shark athlete at all times, man. And some of the, some of the health things that they show us on social media are kind of unattainable unless you take the roars or you take the, the performance and hands you know what I'm talking about but uh at the same time we're looking at Lizzo and she's trying to paint this as oh yeah I'm super healthy and all that kind of and I'm super happy but there's no way that Lizzo could be healthy and and you and I both know that when you're big it comes with health complications man joint issues cardiovascular or whatever issues, diabetes, all that kind of crazy stuff, man. It, it it goes against that, man. So I don't like that, man. If you're going to be preaching being happy and healthy and all that kind of stuff, you could be doing something about it at the same time and showing these young women that follow you or whoever the hell that follows you that, yeah, man, I'm, I'm big. I'm embracing my, my imperfections. But at the same time, I'm trying to do something about it by eating healthy. Yeah, I'm working out here. Yeah, I'm doing this there. No, nah, you just run around here with elite reverse resilience. You run around here twerking and showing off the terrible things you got going on. And then you run around here uh, chasing around guys that don't want you. And that's another thing that goes into it. And that's why I would say that Lizzo is also not healthy. You you can't even get the guys that you want, man. I feel like personally, men and women, whenever you're big, you're kind of living your life. And, uh, you know, not in your final form, man, like Frieza said, man, it's not even my final form, man. You run around here living your life at like 25%, man. You got them lose the weight and get yourself healthier. Not only will you feel better, but you'll be more confident and uh, more people will be attracted to you, man. So like that, I feel like there's just more, slightly more opportunities, man. I think that some people get, re uh, you know, ridiculed or rejected or uh, prejudiced against when they're big. And it's not a way to live, man. So think about it, man, when next time you... Think about picking up that McDonald's burger or uh, skipping that workout day, man. Don't don't run around here just being unhealthy, man. And end up in the hospital with your, your feet cut off from the diabetes. Or, you know, you can't really hardly move around and play with your kids. Or you got a heart attack early, a stroke, whatever, man. You don't want to be looking silly like that, man. So take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and watch what the hell Lizzo has going on. Hopefully they didn't yell at me for that. But, uh, we'll see. Let's see what she's got going on, man. Go through a couple, two, three posts here. All right, this looks a little icky here. What do you guys think? Okay. I hate this girl so much. I do too. <laughs> All right, man. So uh, first, you know, why are you wearing that outfit? That's one thing, and uh, you know why are you parading that around? It's another thing, and I guess it's uh, I guess it's on the same level as you know a girl who would be a little bit more in shape doing that. But hey, man. All right, man. So let's go ahead and see what uh what else does she have? You know, lurking throughout the page of uh grossness. Let's keep going. All right, we've got uh some some things here. All right, that's not. I mean, that is bad, but it's not the worst. 
All right, this one's not looking that great. All right, cut that music down for uh, oh, 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 oh. Man, what y'all doing? All right, man, so you see what the hell's going on there, man. I have to turn that off because the copyright of music, you know, they'll get you pretty good, so, yeah. All right, let's see what this next one is. This is the most recent thing. I actually saw it on uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson's post, and I thought it was uh, a little bit in interesting and maybe disturbing, depending on who you are. Let's go through it. Seems like everybody can do this. Bro, they really be playing. All right, so let's cut in there. All right, man, so we got her out here. Don't get mad when I bust splits at your function. So, uh, you know, how do you feel about that, man? She pull up to your function, man, bust your splits. Are you gonna be like, let me get that? Or are you gonna be like, get out of here? Which one is it, man? Let me know. Um, yeah, I, and, and the thing that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about while she's doing splits, like while you're learning how to do splits, talking about your flexibility and all this, one up the par, and you starting this, why haven't you just went ahead and started, you know, a weight loss journey? You'd be inspirational. And uh, I wish we would stop, you know, rewarding people like this for doing silly stuff, man. Like uh, the people like Brittany Renner and uh, the people like Lizzo who obviously seek attention and we give it to them i wish we just you know we stop rewarding them with attention man that's what they need and they're not happy people you it's pretty obvious like lizzo talks about you know the the phat acceptance movement and all this kind of stuff and uh and whatnot but it's like you've got health complications and every other day you're talking about how you're crying because the people have shamed you you try to go get what is the dude's name? Captain America, Chris Evans. You tried to get him, and he wasn't interested, partly because of this, and then uh, secondly because uh, he saw that cottage cheese and, and that cellulite. He wasn't like Juicy J. Make that ass clap. I don't care about that cellulite. So uh, you know, there's that. But uh, yeah, man, you, it's like it's like uh, it's like you know, go go get your weight loss journey, get healthy. And then come back, and then we'll we'll talk about you, man. But in the meantime, nobody should be rewarding it, man. You see all these people in their comments like, "Yes, girl, yes, get it." You see Brady running his comments, "Girl, say it with your chest, yes, do it." Like these people, we just need to stop giving them attention, and it would be okay. But we just keep on giving them attention, man. And, uh, and then in YouTube and all these other guys are to the point where they you can't even talk anything bad about him without getting a yellow mark in these streets maybe even a red one my boy blasted told me how he got a red mark when he's talking about Megan the stallion one time red they they hit him with a, a strike he didn't even say nothing bad he just was watching the video he just he just reviewed the video commentary strike so yeah man you got to tread lightly out here for stupid stuff and stupid people getting rewarded out here and lizzo you need to go out here and get started on a weight loss journey instead of getting started on doing stuff like splits so you can so you can be the extreme Instagram thought that you want to be. That's just my thoughts on it, man. What you guys think about Lizzo? What do you guys think about the uh, social media attention whores that we have out here in these streets? What do you guys think about the, I guess the politically correct culture that we've got right now where you can't even hardly say anything? Let me know all of that. But uh, yeah, that's the video right there. Appreciate you watching. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you next time.